Hi there, YouTube world. Jordan Ray with another YouTube uh, Google App Scripting video. Last week I did Google App Maker and I kind of did a dive into the documentation there. I'm going to change the pace going back to Google Docs. I watched a video from Wes Boss, uh, did something about prototypical inheritance in JavaScript by modifying the uh, string object. And I'm gonna just kind of take that and uh, see if we can roll it into Google Docs so that we can select text like this and then turn it into that sarcastic text that has become super popular uh, online and in forums and such, memes, memes especially. So let's go ahead and write some code for that. Uh, sarcastic text. And we're going to need two functions, make sarcastic and sarcastify. So it's the made up word I'm going to use here. Sarcastify, we're going to just pass in an argument. First thing we have to do is grab the selection from the active document. And then from that selection, we can grab the range elements. This is going to give us an array of range. We need to loop through that array, which we can do in a couple of different ways. One, we could do range elements for each. And then pass in a function with each element. However, the problem that I've always noticed with using the any of the uh, functional methods for arrays is when we get inside of our callback function here, we can't access any of the helpful auto completion stuff. So usually, when you can open up an auto complete menu. You would get that here. If we write a for loop like this and then define our element as whichever iteration in the loop we're in, we can then get access to our autocomplete. Super helpful. So I prefer to write the for loops this way, even though it's a little less functional. So we need to grab a couple of variables off of the element and then handle it a little differently. Um, the element is going to give us a method called isPartial, and that will give us a Boolean to tell us if it's a partial selection or not. For example, if we have this bit of text selected versus this bit versus this bit, or maybe we have the entire line. What we want to do if it is partial is grab the offset and end offset of the element, and then we can log that to the console just to test uh, where we are. If it is not a partial, we, we can just display the entire element text, and that's simple enough. And let's log that to the console. So let's see where we are here. I'm going to just select a little bit of text. Let's get these three lines. And of course, the first time you run a script, you have to actually set the permissions. And then we've got a couple of lines of text in our console, which corresponds to what we highlighted here. And there are three different logs, so it iterated over those range elements, and then console logs each line. Into it. So let's create our Sarcastify function now. And all we're doing is passing in the text argument. We need to then split that into an array, and then we're going to map over each letter in the array. And depending on the index, if the index modulus 2, which tells us if it's odd or even, 0 if it's even, 1 or false if it is true, there is a ternary here that's just going to differentiate true or false. And if it is true, we're going to put that letter uppercase. And if it's false, we're going to make the letter lowercase. And then we join everything back together into one string, and all of that gets returned. It's fairly complex, but the West Boss video that I mentioned earlier kind of explains this. However, it had to be, I had to rewrite it a little bit um, in order to make it work with Google Apps Script. Um, he's more talking about it from a um, ES6 perspective. And I'm just going to indent these things to show the three operations split, then map, and then join. And the whole thing gets returned. So then we want to actually call it here, and there we go. And really, we're doing the exact same thing here. 
And there we go. We've got the sarcastic text for each element that we have selected. Now we want to actually write that back onto the document. And that's as simple as calling our element and get element as text and then setting the text to sarcastic. Let's go ahead and run that. And when we go back to our document, we should have our sarcastic text here. So I hope that is interesting, um, helpful for pulling information from the document. It can be a little tricky. This is not the most straightforward way to do it with these offsets. Um, and you may run into little quirks with the way uh, documents handle those things. Feel free to comment below any tips, tricks you have for pulling text out of the document and then modifying that text. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.